This is a Game Caviar production. I just saw a video of a panda rolling down a hill. I think it tripped and it fell and it started rolling down the hill. It's the funniest thing I've seen in a couple days. Absolutely hilarious. When animals do funny stuff like that, I laugh at them. It's a panda. I guess, I don't know. I, you know, panda bears, are, they always look cute, but I'm pretty sure panda bears are just as vicious as any other bear. I don't think that you know, the cuteness really... If anything, it aids them in their viciousness, you know? Panda bears are definitely something... I mean, they're cute. You know, kids like panda bears. If you get a panda bear, like little teddy bear to a kid, they're going to love it. And people always look at panda bears and they, oh, they're so cute. Like that video of the panda bear that sneezed and everybody was like, oh my God, it's so cute. Look at that, a panda bear sneezed and scared the other panda bear. I bet you a panda bear rip your damn face off. Anyway... I'm rambling on. That's not what this video is about, okay? I'm not going to spend, like, five minutes talking about panda bears ripping people's face off. I'm going to talk about how to, how to, wow, not only how to spend money, but how to save money online by, while buying video games. And I have a list of really, go, uh, really cool websites uh, that I got from a post while surfing Neil Gaff, which is a really good gaming website. And... Like, a lot of PC gamers, I use Steam, and there's nothing wrong with Steam. Steam is awesome. It's a very great program that organizes your games and allows you to buy games, and now they have trading cards and forums and everything. It's really cool. Steam has come a long way, but there are other websites that allow you to buy games through that website and then you can download the game through steam not every game but a lot of games are available on steam not ea games of course uh ea has their own thing going on called origin it's like steam but just ea products because ea is like you know they don't want to do they, they 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 do their own thing but whatever anyway i'm gonna go down the list and then um and let you guys know exactly what's what's the deal with these websites the first one is gamers gate really cool website they have some deals uh just like steam they have like a weekend deal where you just go in there and then they they let you know exactly what what games they have for sale during the weekend you can go in and uh pre-order games that are coming out and they do have a a updated gaming release you know it's not like you're waiting on games to be available through that website like payday 2 just came out it's an awesome game and it's available on that website for 29.99 i think that's pretty much a standard uh what is it uh standard price for that game right now uh let's see here i don't know whether they have i'm scrolling through it right now uh you can pre-order saints row uh, 4 and what is that? The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. It's a it's a really good game. And they also offer games for Apple. Overall, the website is pretty user-friendly. And like I said, they have updated games and really good deals. Moving on to the next website, one of my favorite websites. Besides buying games through Steam, I also use Green Man Gaming. This is a website that I've known. Actually, I've known about this website before I found a Neil Gaff post, but still, it was listed and I'm gonna talk about it. Neil, I mean, not Neil Gaff. Green Man Gaming is an amazing, an amazing website. They have some pretty cool deals, man. Like, uh, let's see here. They have a Payday 2 four pack for $88. Now, what that is is you pay $88 and you buy four copies of the game and you can hand them out to people. Uh, let's see. Like, if I was in, if I had a bigger YouTube channel and I was consistently making uh, a decent amount of money from YouTube, I would uh, buy one of these packs and then I would just award the, the game to uh, subscribers, fans through a contest or something similar to that. So... That's a pretty cool idea, and uh, I believe Steam, I've seen that on Steam before, so I don't think that is just exclusive to Green Man Gaming, but at the same time, it is pretty awesome. Again, just like Gamersgate, 
they have a they, they keep up to get up to date with the games and you're not waiting for games to be uh, released you know uh, they right now they have a Grand Theft Auto bundle that has damn near every Grand Theft Auto game besides the the top down ones so in the bundle that they have for twelve dollars here's what you get Grand Theft Auto 3 Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, and the DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4, which are like games within themselves. Pretty good deal. With Grand Theft Auto 5 coming out in a couple months, if you had some extra money to spend and you really wanted to walk down memory lane before the game came out, this is definitely the bundle for you and it's available at Green Man Gaming. Moving on to the next website. This is getgamesgo.com. Just get games. Uh, before I get into this website, I will list all of these sites in the um, in the description, so you're not having to re-listen, rewatch the video. If you want to rewatch the video, that'd be awesome. I'm not gonna like complain that you're rewatching my videos. Hint, hint. I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, get games. Great website, similar to Green Man Gaming with their deals. Pretty awesome. Right now, they have a sale. 50, you can get 15% off uh, Batman Arkham Origins, the game that's not even out yet. It's not even like it's not even released, and you, they, they're selling it for 15% off as a pre-order. They're selling uh, Total War Rome 2 22% off as a pre-order. They have a sale going on right now with Hotline Miami for 60% off. You can get that game for under $5. Which is amazing because that game is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm looking at the the Total War Rome 2. They have it on sale for 22%. Uh, as I said a few seconds ago, I want to make sure that it's not any sort of secret stipulations. And I don't really see any of it. So, you know. If you're into Total War, and the Total War games are pretty awesome. I will say that I do enjoy playing the Total War games, and I might pick up Total War Rome 2. 22% off on a game that's, that's that hasn't even been released yet is uh, is pretty awesome, you know. Uh, okay, I get it. All right, the next video that's coming up is not the next video. The next website is uh, GameFly. GameFly does more than just rent video games; they actually sell disk space and PC games so I would definitely keep them in mind and see whether you can pick up a good game at a great price uh, let's see the humble deep silver bundle this is a website that sells a bundle of video games the proceeds from those games go to charity all right let me just tell you what they have now. This is the Origin Bundle. Remember I told you EA Games has the Origin. They do their own thing. It's not Steam, but it's similar to Steam. And if you buy the Humble Origin Bundle, here's what you get. Deep Space, Burnout Paradise, Crisis 2, Maximum Edition, Mirror's Edge, Dead Space 3, and Medal of Honor. The first Medal of Honor. And it says right here, pay more than an average of $4.81 to unlock Battlefield 3 in The Sims 3 plus a starter pack. You buy this bundle, the proceeds go to charity, Some, most of the proceeds, you can break it down on how you want it to go, you know, how much of the, the price that you're paying is going to charity. It's pretty awesome, and you get really cool games. Now, I, I should have bought the last bundle because they had like Saints Row and everything, and the Steam right now is having it. I just saw it where you have well, you can get 10% off the next Saints Row if you already have Saints Row, but I missed out on that bundle. I'm thinking about getting this bundle, and after you buy a bundle, you you can feel like, you know, you can feel pretty accomplished because you're giving money to charity. You're not just throwing money at a corporation or a company or anything like that. You're actually helping out people who need it, and I think that's a great, great idea, and it benefits a lot of people the way that they have it set up. The next two websites are similar to the Humble bum Bundle, but there are indie games. So you have the in the Indie Gamer, Indie Royale, uh, and that is basically like um, 
the uh, the same thing like the hum uh, the humble bundle, but they have a minimum that they have to uh, get. And right now the minimum is done, and you get a bunch of games: uh, Tower War, Sentinel. Uh, let's see, Frenzy. Uh, it's pretty cool. This one, though, it says on the website that you have to buy early, uh, or the price is going to go up. Not by much, but you may be able to save a couple dollars if you're one of the early adopters of their bundle. The same thing with the Indie Gala. Uh, they have a tiered thing. The more money you pay the more games that you get and it looks like uh, the more the most most of their games are available on Steam as well so this is definitely another game site that you should check out especially if you're a fan of indie games now like I said all of these games will be listed in the description check them out let me know what you think and if you have any other any other websites that you use to buy games let me know and I can add those to the list as well Thanks for watching the video. This is Red Faction Armageddon. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. And I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.